Hey there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable favor boxes for Halloween. They're super cute and uh, what you're going to need is these um, two by two and a quarter boxes. They're little paper takeout boxes and if you can see in here, see how it's shiny? They're plastic coated on the inside so um, it makes them waterproof and really durable. You get a package of 24 of these for $8.40 at Paper Mart, our sponsor today. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. We're also going to use these paper straws and um, these 10 packs go for 89 cents which is about half the price um, per count that you're going to find them at the craft store. I was at the craft store the other day it was four dollars a package of 24 so you could stock up on lots of different colors for your projects or even to use just for drinking at a party. Uh, super fun, super cute and very affordable. So I've got a couple different ideas here but what I'm going to show you how to make is this um, Frankenstein one. You're going to use the same techniques for any of them but this one's the most complicated so I thought I would demonstrate this today but just to give you some ideas, you can, um, you know, do a pumpkin or a ghost, or if it was Christmas time, you could do a snowman. Oop, the snowman is here. Isn't that cute? Or, of course, Dracula. So, you know, do whatever you like, but those are just some ideas to get you started. So what you're going to want to do is take your paper box and paint it with some acrylic craft paint. And I took some green and I added white to it so it would be nice and opaque. And then um, you just want to give it a, a nice coat of paint, go along all of the outsides. You can give it two coats if you want to. Um, it will give it more opaque coverage if you do that. But for a favor box, I really think you're all right to do one coat, but that's completely up to you. Just make sure you paint the entire box. I'm gonna set that aside because I have one that's already painted. And then all we have to do is paint on the face. I'm just going to fold up the box. It comes assembled. All you have to do is fold it to close it, which is really nice. Uh, I know a lot of boxes come flat, but the way they package these are actually in kind of a sleeve like this. So they're all together. You can just pop them out as you need them from the, uh, the container. It doesn't take up very much space, which is very nice. Now using a round brush, a small round, get some black paint and just kind of sketch on a wiggly line for the mouth. And if you if you have thicker paint and it's not flowing, all you have to do is add a little bit of water to it and it will make it flow. And now I want to put some ovals for the eyes. And when you load your paint, if you twirl your brush, when you load it, you'll get a nice point on your brush. It'll be a little easier to uh, to work with. And I'm also going to give him some kind of sleepy eyelids because I think that looks kind of neat. And then we'll put on a few scars. We'll put on a nose too. I'm just going to do kind of like a, a U for the nose with two other little U's coming off the side. Just like that. And I'm going to put some, some scars here and there. And really, that's really all you need to make him look like Frankenstein. I'm going to paint some lavender on his eyelids. And I like to use the same color, so if you were using um, this paint for the body of some um, Dracula boxes, you can use the same color for the eyelids. And then they'll all look nice when you set them together, like on your mantle for decoration. And then it's really handy. Um, if you have trick-or-treaters, you can just take them right off the mantle and give them to your trick-or-treaters. I'll do a few of these special boxes for, um, for the kids that we know really well, you know, when they come to trick-or-treat. It's just something, a little something fun you can do. Always clean your brush really well when you're done using your acrylic paints. Wash it with soap and water. I just rinse it between colors and then just wash it with soap and water when I'm done to make sure that I don't damage your bristles. And there you go. That's all there is to making the face on the Frankenstein. Now for the little um, kind of bolts on the sides, which I think is super cute with the straws, you just want to snip off about, um, I would say, half inch to a three quarter inch piece of the straw. You'll need two of them. Just try to cut them as flat across as you can. And then hot glue works really well for this because it's thick and it can um, it can kind of hold the, the straw in place while it's drying. So I'm going to give it a nice, a nice big glob of that. And then I can put the end, I can set it right in there and let it dry and do the exact same thing to the other side. 
go. We have both of our little paper straw bolts on and this guy is looking like the cutest Frankenstein I've ever seen. If you like this project and you want to find out all the products that I used, you can check out the video description where I have links to all the products I used or just go to www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. And if you want more fun fall projects, make sure you check out my other fall crafting videos. I think you'll really have fun making some of these projects this year. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like these videos. And as always, happy crafting.